All gadgets are permitted in all countries, and some have been banned for safety reasons. Despite this, many banned gadgets are still available to buy. These products are bound to cause some debate. Watch this video to view all 10 banned gadgets that you can still buy. Number 10. Flipper Zero Flipper Zero is a tiny piece of hardware designed to combine all the hardware tools needed for exploration and development on the go. It has a robust case, handy buttons and shape, and can be controlled from a 5-position directional pad without additional devices. It has an integrated 433 MHz antenna and a CC1101 chip, and a built-in NFC module 13.56 MHz. It also has a Bluetooth low energy module, which allows it to act as a peripheral device and connect to third party devices and a smartphone. Flipper Zero has an infrared transmitter that can transmit signals to control electronics. It has a built in library of common TV vendor command sequences and an IR receiver that can store signals and upload them to the public IR remote database. The SD slot will support any FAT32 formatted micro SD card to store user plugins and data. Number 9. Spy Glasses Spy glasses are a convenient tool in the world of surveillance and security enforcement. They are unisex frames with a video camera embedded at eye level, an accompanying microphone, and no exposed switches to start or stop the camera. Users start recording by pressing a discrete strip along the frame arm. The confirmation of recording depends on the device model, with some models having an indicator light or vibrating when recording starts. The footage is stored in a micro SD card, which is compatible with both Windows and Mac operating systems. To buy the best spy glasses, look for a camera lens that's unnoticeable, a microphone with noise cancellation technology, an HD camera, low light recording capability, a battery life of at least an hour, and a waterproof or water resistant design. Number 8. High Powered Laser SLAC is partnering with LLNL and the University of Rochester's Laboratory for Laser Energetics to design and construct the MECU facility in a new underground cavern. LLNL's rep-rated laser and high-energy kilojoule laser will feed into two new experimental areas containing a target chamber and a suite of diagnostics tailored for HED science. The LCLS is capable of delivering 120 X-ray pulses a second, each one lasting a few femtoseconds. The LCLS-2 upgrade will deliver a million pulses per second in an almost continuous X-ray beam that will be 10,000 times brighter and double the X-ray energy previously attainable. This combination will give the U.S. a fundamentally new high-throughput HED capability for discovery science and national security research. NNSA has expressed interest in partnering with the Office of Science to augment the upgrade with additional long pulse laser capabilities to further support NNSA's stockpile stewardship program. Number 7. NFC RFID Skimming NFC RFID skimming is the act of hackers, skimmers, bad guys intercepting the radio wave communication between devices or reading the radio waves that an NFC or RFID enabled device puts out. An example of this is when a person pulls out an RFID-enabled credit card when they're in line to purchase goods from a merchant. The most important details in this text area are that NFC RFID skimming is a potential threat, but for most people, it's not a viable one due to the risk-reward for criminals and hackers. Most nefarious actors will target companies as they tend to store vast amounts of information about their customers, but it's important to be aware that the threat is always there and it's easy to protect yourself. Number 6. Dstyk Deauthor Watch The Dstyk Deauthor Watch, now in version 3, is a cheap, simple Wi-Fi chip that can be used to kick any device off of a 2.4G Wi-Fi network. It's not a jammer, which can interfere with emergency services and be illegal in your area. The Dstyk works by using deauthentication frames to tell a device to disconnect from a Wi-Fi network, and it can also do beacon and probe attacks. It also has a clock with NTP time server synchronization and a powerful laser pointer. The ESP8266 chip only works on 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, so the script doesn't pose a risk to every network. Number 5. USB Killer a USB killer is a USB drive that's been modified to deliver an electrical surge that can damage or destroy hardware when inserted into a computer's USB port. It works by delivering 210 to 220 volts to an interface designed for 5 volts, which can damage or destroy not only ports but also attached hardware. 
The original concept behind the device was to help hardware manufacturers and network administrators determine how well a digital device could withstand power surges and electrostatic discharge, or ESD. However, since its invention, this type of altered thumb drive has proved popular with cyber criminals. The concept of a USB killer is credited to a Russian computer researcher known as Dark Purple. In the United States, a student at the College of St. Rose in upstate New York was sentenced to one year in federal prison in 2019 for using USB killer to destroy over 60 college computers. Number 4. GPS Tracking GPS tracking is a global positioning system that entails a network of 24 satellites in orbit and devices on the ground that can establish a person or object's location on Earth with astonishing precision. It was originally created for military use in the 1960s and became available to the public for use in 1983. GPS is an important part of all sorts of operation from the military to our first responders to commercial and personal use. It plays an important role in search and rescue operations, allowing rescue personnel to keep track of the locations they've covered. Additionally, GPS devices can be deployed to track commercial fleets, allowing companies to keep track of exact driver location and status, glean powerful insights about fleet efficiency, and provide roadside assistance immediately if necessary. GPS systems have been shown to reduce accidents by 38% for small businesses, making dispatch and routing easier and more accurate. Number 3. License Plate Hider a license plate frame is a great addition to vehicles that take to the track, car shows, or for those spending extended time in storage. However, there are a couple of concerns to consider before making your selection. The first thing to consider is the way you want your plate frame to hide your plates. The most important details to consider when buying a plate frame are aesthetics, weatherproofing, warranties, guarantees, user reviews, ease of installation, and ease of use. Ease of use is important if you're not a professional mechanic as it can make product flaws or expectations more transparent. Warranty and guarantees are important assurances that the product is a quality product and user reviews make product flaws or expectations more transparent. Finally, ease of use is important if you're not a professional mechanic. Number 2. WeFone WeFone is a unique, minimal phone designed to enable hackers by making it easy to extend and modify the electronics and software. It's also a VoIP mobile phone that uses Wi-Fi to make HD voice calls for free. WeFone solves these problems and gives hackers, makers, and engineers the tools they all wish their phones could be. It has direct access to I.O., an easy-to-program ESP32 processor, and is durable and looks great. It works on most broadband Wi-Fi networks, including most home Wi-Fi connections. No service contract is required, and users can upgrade the firmware or expand the hardware to do things it wasn't originally intended for. Number 1. GSM Jammer GSM is a widely used mobile phone specification, accounting for more than 80% of the current global cellular mobile communication technology equipment sales market. It's used in many aspects of daily life, such as key management systems, car security systems, and intelligent robots. It's also suitable for indoor cover and can be assigned to the indoor antenna distribution system software according to the power divider. Unreasonable use of mobile phones in public places can cause harm to others. GSM signal jammers are installed in areas where the use of mobile phones is prohibited. To choose a signal jammer, one must consider their requirements such as data signal type, 3G and 4G network frequency bands, and region. Portable signal jammers allow for indoor and outdoor applications, while desktop all-in-one jammers use a variety of antenna designs. A four-wireless antenna portable GSM jammer is the best choice for beginners.